Greg Chappell gets that away on the onside. I'd say four runs all the way. There's a man coming around the boundary. Out. The ball stopping. But still getting to the fence. And a beautiful strike from Chappell. He really unwound that time, and that's out to the fence for four. And a very good shot by Chappell. Will he come back for his second? That's his 50. Australia one for 83. Chapel's 50 came up in the good time of 80 minutes and there were five fours in that innings. He played some lovely strokes. 123 for one Australia at the start of the fourth day, 233 ahead and Greg Chapel and Ian Redpath well in command when play had concluded on Monday. Weather conditions were good but there was a hint of thunderstorms later in the day and Australia certainly would want to set England a target of round about the 400 mark. England for their part would simply try and delay that declaration as long as possible with as many defensive ploys as they could manage. The pitch, well, that was perfect. And Bob Willis is the man who bowls the third over of the day, and he's bowling to Ian Redpath. There's a good stroke. Titmus, that third man. Redpath gets two, and also his half century. He's 51. The Australian total now one for 100. 27. Oh. Off the edge, four runs. Willis still bowling at the northern end, bowling to Greg Chapel. Lovely stroke. That won't be stopped. Australia one for 158. Straight down the ground, that should be four. So Greg Chapel to 89 and the total to 162. And beautiful shot from Greg Chapel. This could be his hundred. They might get three here. It's a chase down for Titmus. They've taken two and they come back for three. There's the hundred to Greg Chapel. And he's not caught, it's going down past the slip fieldsman. That was a very streaky shot from Redpath, but he gets four for it. And walking away from his stumps to crack that hard through point. It's going out towards the boundary. Amos may just get to it. It's going to be close, but the ball wins for the Greg Chapel. Greg Chapel to 107, Redpath 75. Australia, one for 190, a lead now of exactly 300, and Greg Chappell becomes the first player in Australia to score a 1,000 runs this season. When his score reached 106, he passed the 1,000, and he's done that in 16 innings. And hit that out towards the boundary, it's hard and high, and that's going out to the member stand area for four. Willis, the only wicket taker of the innings, and he'll be bowling to Greg Chappell. And Chappell beautifully through the covers. Not even moving, four runs all the way. And he's hit that on the onside, wide of the fieldsman. It won't be four. They've taken their second. Let's see if they'll go for three. I think they'll be comfortable with Covey with two. He scored, of course, 247 not out uh, over in New Zealand. But 131 is his best score against England. And he's hit that hard and high. It's coming out towards the boundary. It won't be six, but it's going over the fence or hitting the fence on the second bounce. Red Chapel, 129. Red Path, 76. One for 213. 
Here's Greg to bowl to Greg Chappell. And flick beautifully out towards square leg. It's going out towards the boundary. That could be four again. It's going to be very close. And that's into the fence or the children cutting it off. But what a great shot from Greg Chappell. Look at the field and say, where could he hit a four? And in the one place on the field where a four was possible, he scored four runs. Greg Chappell, 136. Red path, 76. One for 220. And down it goes towards fine leg, and it's going to be... Is he caught? He's caught, dropped! Well, Greg can't believe it. Greg Chappell just patted Greg on the back and said, bad luck. Certainly there's more than 30,000 here today. And red pass drive through the covers. Good shot. That's going to be four. It's in the air and it could be out. And he is out. Caught by Lloyd at mid wicket. Greg Chapel caught Lloyd. The bowling of Arnold for 144. Second wicket has fallen at 235. Partnership of 220 runs. A very fine innings by Greg Chapman.